guys uh, most of us have faced this problem especially since our bikes are dependent on battery and to add to the drama we do not have a kicker to start the bike so what do we do when our battery is dead all right so if you're like me not an everyday rider or take your bike only on weekends or on a tour then you are likely to face the battery issue which is bike starting problem one simple way to avoid it is to start your bike once in every three four days uh, for about five minutes leave it uh, leave it in a start idle condition for about five minutes and then switch it off this will ensure that you know your battery have enough juice for the bike to start the next time the solution is very effective when your battery is in healthy condition second situation if you are off for a couple of weeks or forgot to start your bike for a week then most likely your bike is completely drained the battery is completely drained out and there is not enough ampere to start the bike so what can you do in the situations first uh, try push starting your bike with the help of your friend the rolling your bike on a downhill this will give the bike enough momentum to momentum to start you know you have to engage your second or third gear and you can start your bike and uh, second option is if you are you know too embarrassed to do the first step or if you don't have a friend nearby you can help you out push start then this is what you can do all right so your back uh, battery is on the left side of the bike uh, this is a three piece uh, plastic compartment so you'll have to take that off i'll show you how exactly you can do that so use your um toolkit uh, that's pretty much what you need uh, use the star screwdriver so first you need to take out the bottom part of the panel that's one single screw so i have to do just take that off and make sure your screws are safe um, you need to put a little pressure and pull that plastic out because there's a latch there's a push latch which actually holds the plastic on from one side that's that's the one uh, it goes into that rubber bush that's why it's hold so tight and this is one screw then now you have to remove your commando badging panel uh, again you have to put a little pressure uh, from the right and pull it out from one side and just comes out just like that and then the last part you can already see the battery there inside so now you need to take this last part out so that's held by two screws so the, yeah that's one and the second one out there again use your star screwdriver to take that two screws out i'll take two screws out quickly and get back to you guys All right. So once that two screws are out, uh, you need to again uh, use your little pressure on the left side because that's again a plastic latch. With two of them, from top and bottom. If you just pull it with little pressure, it comes out, and that is it. Now, uh, all right. So that's the negative. Black is the negative part of the battery, and the red one is the positive side of the battery. And the white box is your fuse. um the battery is secured with a uh, rubber belt which is again very easy to remove a uh, very important point make sure your ignition is off all the time while you're performing this exercise so this is what i would suggest find a good battery workshop nearby or a local garage who can charge your battery uh take the battery to the workshop once you remove it from the bike and a 30 to 40 minutes charge will give you enough juice for your bike to start later when you are on the ride the battery will anyway get automatically charged another quick tip uh, the fuse console the small white uh, jacket will always cover uh, always hold one extra fuse uh, in case the primary one blows off you have an option to uh, replace that with a new one all right so that's it so uh, once you you have your battery charged uh, before you put everything back together make sure you start your bike and uh, make sure it starts up without any issues and that's it let's put everything back together
Uh, there, there is another way to charge your battery if you have an inverter or a UPS at home you can use that to charge the bike battery but uh, make sure the inverter is charging a 12 volt battery unit not anything higher else you might damage the bike battery uh, again this is an expert level DIY attempt only if you are confident even to do it Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and please do share and stay tuned. Thank you so much. Cheers.